Who, who, who? I'm a hillbilly. All right, guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob, and here we are with our eagle head. We're going to be firing up the Dremel with a diamond flame burr, a newer diamond flame burr. Uh, what we're going to start out doing is undercutting the eyebrows, making them a little bit deeper, uh, and doing some cleanup work here. Yeah, it's a hoop. A lot, a lot, a lot of carving to go here, guys. So, yeah, we're uh, undercutting that eyebrow. We're uh, bringing it up a little bit more. You know, basically cleaning stuff up. Then uh, we'll change over to the SCM tool to cut that eye in there. Yeah. We're going to cut the eye in first, and then we'll cut the... Uh, the, what do you call it? The uh, eyelid, I guess. And afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day here. Been talking to Jordy on the uh, on the uh, messenger deal. A little bit. He said he's liking the way the eagle head is coming out. So, hey, if Jordy says it's it's looking good, it's looking good. All right. I think it's looking all right. I think he'll work. It'll work for what we're doing, guys. We're making a cane. Yeah. Just had a little lunch. You know what I had for lunch? I'll tell you what I had for lunch. I had a ricochet biscuit. Do you know what a ricochet biscuit is? A ricochet biscuit is the kind of biscuit you throw against the wall. And it bounces back into your mouth. If it don't bounce back, guess what? You go hungry. Ha ha ha. Seriously, no. I had uh, raviolis. Mm-hmm. Yep. Chef Boy RD out of the can. I don't know why I buy them. I don't really like them. But it was something. And, uh, yeah, the shop inspector, she licked the bowl clean. Yep. Got a cup of coffee. Figured come out here, make some uh, movie. Got some coffee. Figured I'd come out here and do some videotaping for you guys and gals. And here's our SCM high speed air tool. So we are going to cut that eye in now. Okay. Uh, you can see that I am holding it at about a 45 degree angle because I want, I'll, I'll be rounding over. The pupil in the eye. Yes, the pupil. Well, not the pupil, the eyeball. We've got to round it over. I don't have no, uh, I don't have any of that, uh, oh, what did, what did they call it? Some kind of shell. So, uh, like a pearlescent shell. Mother of pearl, or I don't remember what it's called. But I don't think it'd make that big of an impact on this little, this little eagle head anyway. So I'm just going to round the eyes over and, uh, yeah, we'll paint them and all that good stuff. So, yep, we're just, uh, we're using the SCM with that little, uh, pointy, pointy bit, the finishing bit. And, uh, because we're rounding the eyes over, we're trying to keep that tool held at about, you know, 40 degrees or so in that area there. So that uh, it's already starting to, that, that angle on the eye force is what we're trying to drive at here, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, we got those eyes cut in. So we're going to change over to our very small football flame burr diamond. Okay. There it is. See how small that guy is? Okay, there he is. Little flame burr, football burr. I've got to stop kicking this table. Okay, so um, we're rounding that over. Let's 
still trying to keep that even with the flame burr you want to keep it at that angle um, we're going to cut the corner of the eyes in deep that way there from if you look at it from the front it gives it that rounded over look so both corners back and front you want to cut them deeper than the actual uh, top and bottom so that gives you the shaping you're shaping it round okay You can almost see it right there, how it's already starting to make that round shape in there. And uh, when we cut that lower eyelid in, uh, we'll be bringing that down so that it, um, it makes the eye pop out more. We'll bring the eyelid down. And it also will bring the sides of the head in. If you ever look at an eagle, like right where their eyes is, the feathers and stuff are kind of warped back. It looks like an extension of the eye, basically. That will all happen when we start shaping that down. Okay? And then, of course, uh, there where the breather hole things are, or going to be anyway. They're not there yet. Uh, we're going to have to bring that down more because you want your eyes to be further out than the beak that where the breather holes are. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to see past his own beak. Okay, so that's what we're doing there. Um, we'll move back to the bigger diamond to smooth these eyes out. The Dremel with the diamond. Okay. So yeah, he's, he's coming along all right, I guess. This will be video number four. Yep. We're uploading video number three right now, guys. And we, yes, we did speed this up a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we got the eyeball all rounded there. Coming back in with the bigger diamond. to get that all smoothed in there guys just trying to smooth it out get it get it round uh, the bigger diamond leaves less uh, skip marks dig marks I guess so we don't get those little dots from uh, the very tiny burrs You can see, uh, you can actually see it now. You can see the eyes getting rounded there. So after we get this eye rounded in, we will add in our uh, lower eyelid. I can't put my, I can't put the camera in uh, airplane mode right now because. I'm uploading video number three for you guys. Anybody that's following us here. All right. So now we're drawing in that lower eyelid, guys. We're going to draw it in, and then we're going to take the high-speed air tool and chase it. Okay. We'll get them both drawn in there. Give you a rough idea of what it's going to look like here. All right. All right, guys, here we are. Back. Uh, yeah, I already cut out the 
eyelids with the high speed air tool. It's basically the same maneuver. Uh, sketch the lines in, 40 degree angle, downward away from the eye. Uh, we're coming back with our diamond burr, flame burr, diamond burr. And we're just going to smooth all of the little marks out that we made with the, oh, up the vacuum cleaner tube. Oh my, had to go get it out of the vacuum cleaner, guys. Yeah, <laughs> it got stuck in the dust collector. So I had to go get it out of the dust collector. Those kind of things happen. Yeah, it scared me too. All of a sudden, poop is like a like a magic trick, right? Gone. So uh yeah, you can see we are going ahead and smoothing all that out. Getting that lower eyelid cut in. Um, as we work the eyelid down on an angle away from the eye, we will also be carving the eyelid back towards the eye because we want to get that eyelid down, right? We want to get it so the, the eye itself is more sticking out either even with the eyelid or the eye itself will be sticking out just beyond the eyelid, okay? Um... That's the way most bird eyes are, is they, the eyelid is right on the eye. And the eye sticks out a little bit further than the eyelid itself. So that's just something we're trying to accomplish here, is to get that all worked in the same way. And uh, because this is a native eagle, it's a representative. A representation of what a real eagle looks like, but not. It's not going to look like a real eagle, guys. So, yeah, we're just going to, with a diamond bird, just keep working that guy around and around. And then we'll go do the other side. And then we will have to work the... breather thing down so that the eye is you can see the eye if you look at it front ways you want to see the eye past the the bird snorkel this has been a fun carve uh, i'm kind of glad i went this way with the eagle more of a native style um yep and of course we still got we still got quite a bit more to go on this handle. We still have to uh get it cut down where we want it as far as the uh diameter. The diameter is just a little just a little too big um for my hand. So if it's a little bit too big for my hand, uh somebody with smaller hands would be struggling with it to hang on to it. So uh We'll end up carving that down in the next video. So, oh, there's a shop inspector. She's barking again. So, yeah, this is a... Where to go from here is the next question. Our next project. I think, uh, I think we're going to delay the walking stick and go to a birdhouse maybe i'm thinking uh wood spirit birdhouse or maybe cowboy birdhouse i have to see what kind of wood i got left out in the the other shop to make a uh wood spirit birdhouse um usually when i carve my birdhouses i do it on the corner not the flat 
because the corner you already got the beginning of the nose popping out right um the question is do i want to make it with one buys or do i want to make it with two buys um if you got a two by six let's say and you do the front two sides of it with the two by six and then you can use a one by six for the back sides of it and that gives you uh inch and three quarters on both sides to carve into it that's the way i usually do it is like that but i have to see what kind of wood i got laying around out there pretty sure i got an old two by six that we can chop up into a spirit house of cowboy or something like that It's going to be fun. The birds need a place to live too, guys. But that's in the future. Right now, we got to get this uh, get this cane all put together. And I got to get some... I've got to go to the store and get some epoxy for this thing. My five-minute epoxy supply has run out. So I'm going to have to go get some. I like using the uh, epoxy instead of uh, like a white glue or uh, because it fills in in the little gaps you might have. That Gorilla Glue, the all-weather Gorilla Glue that uh, puffs up when it's wet, that's some good stuff too. But uh, I don't know how, yeah, you'd have to have to put this thing in a big clamp to hold it together. Because you don't want it pushing the head off of the uh, stick when you glue it. So, it's always an option too. But um, I think I'm just going to go with the 5 minute epoxy. I think it's stronger than the uh, Gorilla Glue. There we are. We're back to rounding over those eyes. And we're shaping those lower eyelids. Yep. I think he's coming out pretty decent, guys. Looks like an eagle. I know if you get the beak proportion wrong, he can look like a parakeet real quick. End up looking like a, a parakeet. And if you get it on too much of downslope, then he can look like a seagull instead of an eagle. Now, you see how I was talking about those eyes? Uh, once you get the eyes set, it really it brings it way in to the, eye, the eyebrow above it. So, looks like we're getting ready to end our video, guys. All right. So, um, stay safe, uh, and be awesome, guys. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. Carve every day if you can. You got no excuse now that you're stuck at home, guys. No excuse. Carve, carve, carve. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Um... So share, subscribe, like, be awesome, carve something awesome, and we will catch you guys on the next one. All right? Bye. Awesome.